not enough money. And you look down your lifeline and you see thing, it's pretty unlikely that things are going to change if you keep doing what you're doing. And then what happened? Somebody called you and said, hey, man, I know where the sun is out. Okay. And what does that mean? Plenty of time and plenty of money. And you had the courage to step into the unknown. And in all heroes journey, if you think of your favorite movies and favorite stories, right? The hero has fears and they have challenges and they have obstacles. And that's why you're on this call. You want to overcome whatever fears and or obstacles you have. And if you're anything like myself or my wife, you've got both. This is classic hero's journey because when you overcome those fears and defeat those obstacles you become successful and that affects you financially and of course that affects the lives of the people around you that you care about as well as some additional lives it's fantastic it's classic hero's journey so let's pick up a little speed um there's three classifications of people that we have on our target list, right? A suspect is a name and a number, a possibility. Now, if you can't sponsor them because you haven't even talked to them, a possibility is a suspect that we contact and they go, yeah, sure, I'll take a look at it. Okay, at this point, you have nothing and nobody's probably ever taught you that. A prospect, prospect is a possibility who has volunteered their reason for looking. Everybody knows we cannot build desire needed to overcome fear and obstacles with fear. What does Al do? 45 year plan sucks. Working for somebody else is stupid. There's not going to be any social security at age 65. This is uses fear. Okay. And you can't build a sustained group and run it on fear. This is really important. You need to learn this, teach it to your team and you'll cut attrition in half. You can't sponsor a suspect or a possibility. And every time somebody says, yeah, sure, I'll take a look at it, and then you call them back and they haven't had time to look at it, we build expectations around that because we're human beings and we haven't been taught the right way to do the business. All unmet expectations happen there. Unmet expectations lead to what? Disappointments, and everybody knows collective disappointments lead to discouragement, which is the hand maiden to quitting. So let's define the recruiting cycle. I like to call it the three-step plan. Um, don't use jargon, folks. Use very simple language with people. So what are the three steps in recruiting? One, we strike interest, sort, and book a follow-up. Okay, you want to separate the pretenders from the contenders. What do I mean by that? Once you have these skills, you are worth six figures in ongoing income to everybody that you talk to. So you need to separate the people that are pretending to want a better life from the ones that actually do. At step two, you show them your stuff. Okay, could be um, a CD or a website or a third party tool which I highly recommend against uh, because you will sponsor a much lower percentage of people. Um, what I do like to do is meet with people, screen share, coffee shop, whatever, because you have control over it. But at step two, the prospect reviews your stuff. And then at step three, we do our job. What's our job? Collect decisions. The more often we collect decisions, the more money we make. Most people don't know two things. I did not know two things about network marketing, and it's the biggest single reason that I failed five times in the 80s. I 